We're back. <laughs> <laughs> the, ch- the chilling opening once again. Absolutely. Well, Matthew, dear, dear, I, dear, dear. Before we go anywhere, yes, you may recall at the end of last week, yeah. we issued an amnesty towards certain individuals oh, on we? the email front. We did. There were three three particular individuals who, after the series one review episode, had been banned from contact. Ah, uh, yes, they jolly well had been banned <laughs> and remained banned as far as well, the Mysterious uh, Mysteries team had been told uh, me. Well, team well, told me. Well, that's not what you said last week. Oh, really? Last week, we gave, because I told you that Yerkin Bonk had got in oh. touch with my personal email address, your favourite of Mr. our listeners. Bonk. <laughs> and we gave a one-week amnesty and, and we allowed them to email us again. Oh, did we? And... Oh. Mr. Bonk has followed through. Oh. <laughs> so an estoppel operates, so I can't do anything now. I'm, I'm tied in. Would you like me to hand over the email? Well, not really, because I'll be honest, Mick, I've been feeling a bit. I've been feeling it a bit today. Oh, feeling what exactly? A wee bit, a wee bit, a wee bit hungover. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. I know. <laughs> well, well, the, the, the demon of I, the demon of, of liquor touched me on the shoulder yesterday. Uh, how he touched yeah. you? <laughs> and I, I, we all love it. We all love a glass of prosecco. But we when you he says bottle of beer in hand, <laughs> no, it's hair of the dog. Oh, yeah. And you've got uh, one too. Well, true. And it's and all you... very, it's all very well once you've had. You're deflecting. Reflecting very nicely here, Matthew. But <laughs> we'll keep here, going, listener. We'll here keep is going. Yerkin's email. I would like you to read it out loud. I don't want to see it. <laughs> here it is. Um, oh, it's short. That's a blessing. Yeah. Go on. Go oh, ahead. it's addressed to me. Well, I've, yeah. Oh. yeah. Go on. Greetings, Matthew! Exclamation <laughs> mark. Thank you for answering my question in your review episode regarding the pornographic films featured in your Christmas special. You are certainly very knowledgeable in this area, <laughs> Mr. Bonk. <laughs> I am not. I was given that. Well, you answered this question very well. What was the question? The question was about those, uh, the titles mentioned it, like the chimneys blocked, use the back door, oh. stopping fillers 12. Right. As, <laughs> as like me, you are a fan of erotica. This is just libel. I'm, I, I'm actually even libeling myself here. This is outrageous. It's not true, listener. Don't you listen. I thought I might invite you to come visit, to come and visit me in Germany, where we can watch some of my personal favourites together. I oh, decline that kind of invitation. That sounds you. lovely, Matthew. I have an extensive collection of footage, which I'm sure you would enjoy perusing. But while you're here, we could also sample some of the local culture my city of Oldenburg has to offer. Oh, that sounds very nice. It should be noted that they. It should be noted, though, that some areas will be off limits, as I'm not permitted. Yes, well, I could imagine. <laughs> I'm not permitted within 200 metres of schools and playgrounds. Let's discuss. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again, Matthew. Keep up the good work with seasons two, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Best wishes, Jerk and Bonk. <laughs> Admin team, we've had we've had this little mixed little frolic of joy in that regard. He's being blocked again, and that is a direct <laughs> order. No, I, he's my favourite listener. I've, no offence to all the other listeners. I've tossed the printout to the floor now. <laughs> so am I to oh, gather from that response that you so. shall not be accepting his invitation to Absolutely join him? Absolutely not. This is a, a declining. But I, I imagine he's already got made preparations, laid out a spread, picked out his favourite uh, no, <laughs> no. artefacts from his archive. No. <laughs> We're not, we're not going. No. I'll go if you go. Uh, all right. I'd <laughs> love to meet him. <laughs> well, there we go. I Maybe after back. season two, I we'll t- pencil a trip I in. Take that back. Anyway, yeah. Matthew, okay. we, we need to turn our attention to the real business of yes. today. Yeah. Which is now, do you recall the name of today's episode? Well, I think last episode, we it was, was it Intelligence IA or something? The, like? artificial, in, uh, the artificial Intelligence. The Artificial yeah. Intelligence. Well, that's what I said. Yeah. But I'm sure you won't mind, but I have made a very slight amendment to the oh, title. Oh, God. Um, I'll just hand you over the script. Here, here. It comes. Hold on. Do I want to see this? It's, it's fine. Oh, it's this is a very, oh, a, very, very slight oh, amendment to the script, Matthew. It's quite a thick script, this oh, one. Oh, it is. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's like the, in the, we've only got a single consonant, a okay. consonant added, one letter added, but it is now called Matthew the artificial intelligence. <laughs> so, does that change your opinion of uh, the direction of the script? What we're going to don't look at your beer, look, look at, at me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> he he can't an, even look at me. I need another sip after yeah. that. <laughs> My hands only stop shaking. Yeah. So yeah, does that change? Um, although if I recall correctly, all your guesses were pretty off the mark last week about the nature of this episode. The artificial intelligence. <laughs> I don't want to even go through it. I don't even know anymore. No. no. Should we just get into it then? Oh, okay. I... <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this already. Oh, I've knocked the mic. Oh, well, as always. Yeah. My hands haven't stopped trembling. No. Yeah, my gentleman's jitter is still upon me. Oh, is that what you're calling it now? From last night. <laughs> anyway, episode one like shall begin. Policy. You pipe down over sorry, there. Sorry, sorry. It shall begin. And it is called The Fartificial Intelligence. Those damn robots are taking everything from me. <laughs> <laughs> Gone to Forrest Gump all of a sudden. Yeah, well, sorry, absolutely. I, I won't interrupt. Sorry. My job at the factory. Oh, my job at the factory was now fully automated. You know he'll have my, been rehearsing this for weeks. Uh, this, <laughs> can you stop spoiling the magic, li- please? It's not like me. Who you did this with the Russian accent last week, and now you're doing it this. Oh, I've never seen these before. Listener. Is it not possible? I'm just a natural talent. Well. No, 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 it's not. I don't think so. <laughs> Those damn robots are taking everything from me. My job at the factory was now fully automated. My house had been repossessed, and to top it off, my wife left me for a mechanical man. Yes, sir, it seemed the whole planet had gone crazy. Happy as a pig in mud to surrender every aspect of their lives to these program machines that can't even think or feel. Well, not me. I'd sooner swallow a 45 than let one of them things prevent me from doing a good, honest day's labor. And so each and every day I searched the newspaper I did, searched it for jobs, until one time I came across an ad from the International Space Agency. They was looking for astronauts. I applied and the very next day got called in for interview. I should have known then and there there was something not quite right about it. But shucks, I was poor as a church mouse and just happy someone out there was still hiring. So I went to that interview I did, and I do declare it was the biggest mistake of my now doomed life. Hello there, I'm here for the interview. Ah, Mr. McAllister. No, hold on. Oh, what? what? F- three words in. Oh. What's his name? Oh, Alistair. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm marring it with my, <sighs> with my, my, my preconcepts of earlier yeah. in the series. I think this is probably just a little, just, I know this as an, as an aside. Oh, yes, yes. I think it's probably a good time for me to just tell, you know, new listeners to season two. I've never seen these scripts before. <laughs> Everyone and, knows this by now. Well, I don't know if they do. Oh. And I and they they can be very, very rude and very naughty. <laughs> and so I, I, I haven't. And Tell so, me this, why do you keep coming back? I really don't understand. Nick, that's not the question. Oh, yeah. okay, Even yeah. my personal circumstances aren't at the best at the moment. <laughs> Oh. That, these are particularly difficult times. So he picks me up, but then he's been practising for weeks anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, Get it right this time. Ah, Mr. (laughs) Ellister. So we nearly did it again. Uh, Ah, Mr. Ellister, you're right on time. Please take a seat. Thank you kindly. And please, my friends, call me Mac. A pleasure to meet you, Mac. I'm Jack, Commander Jack (laughs) Doff. And I'll be conducting... I just got that. (laughs) And I'll be conducting your interview today. Pleased to meet your, pleased to make your acquaintance, Jack Doff. The pleasure is mine, Mac. Thank you kindly, sir. You're most welcome. And bless your heart for such a warm welcome. And bless your heart for showing such courtesy. It's a pleasure, Mr. Doff. The pleasure is mine, Mac. Thank you kindly, sir. You're most welcome. <laughs> and bless your heart for such a warm welcome. This is just going on. And, and bless bl- your heart for such a warm welcome. And bless your heart for showing such courtesy. Thank you kindly, sir. You're most welcome. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Jack Doff. The pleasure is mine, Matt. Thank you kindly, oh, sir. God. <laughs> 
is actually quite fun. This is just a bit of southern hospitality. Come on. A pleasure to meet you, Mac. I'm Jack. Yeah. Oh, we're not having this again. Jack Doff, and I'll be conducting your interview today. Bless your heart for such a warm welcome. Oh, now aren't you just cute as a button? Shucks, you're making me blush, Commander. I'm starting to sweat like a sinner in church. <laughs> Anyways, enough piddling. Why don't you take a seat, Mac, and I'll tell you no. why... Oh, and tell me why you'd like to be an astronaut. Thank you kindly, sir. Well, ever since I was knee-high to a grasshopper, I would look out into the night sky and wonder what was out there. My daddy would say, you're wasting your time looking up there, son. When you're all grown up, you're going to make your living at the adult toy factory. Uh-huh. Just like me and my father did. And, he, and his father before him. They was testers, you see. Each and every day they would take them sex uh-huh. toys and insert them in their no, anuses. No, Mitch. <laughs> I'm going to be dro- No, thank you. Every single one of them. Yes, sir. All to make sure they was just right for the customer. But, but you didn't take to that line of work. Say that as a question. Sorry. That was a state. But, but you didn't take to that li- line of work. Is that right? But you didn't take to that line of work? But like, you didn't take that, to that line of work? There we oh, go. Okay. Oh, no, I did. Bit but, of direction. <laughs> for 27 years, I worked there. It was a good, honest job, you see. Now, there weren't much of that going round in this town. Yes, sir, I worked there as a tester, just like my daddy did. If I had had as many pricks sticking out of me than mm. I had had in me, I'd look like a porcupine. Uh, where's that from? <laughs> That's taken from somewhere. That is. I don't know where. Oh, I I've forgot heard, I've heard uh, it before. I've heard it before, and it just I just had to steal I it. I thought it was going to be a, Saint, a San Sebastian image, but I've heard that one before. I don't know where that's come from. <laughs> Well, we're me- shot with arrows. No, we've got pricks like a porcupine. It's outrageous. <laughs> but I never I'm felt. Sa- now. I never felt satisfied with it. I yearned for something bigger, something that would move me deep inside. <laughs> and now that I've been laid off, and y'all here looking for new recruits, well, darn it, I feel like maybe there is such a thing as fate after all. There ain't nothing wrong with making a living at the toy factory, Mac. Uh, you boys did some fine work in that place. Why, well, I have one of your products. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying Go on! It. I'm not. <laughs> Why, I Why, I have one of your products in my... It's a four-letter word beginning with oh, A and, just say it. and ending with S. <laughs> right now. I have one of your products in my anus right now. Uh, it's just nice. <laughs> I mean, it would never happen. <laughs> you don't know that. Oh, I don't know where these people are. <laughs> Just gotta let him get as, it off his chest. As, as do I, sir. I'd expect nothing less. Now, as I as I'm sure you do realize, there's a lot of science that goes into being an astronaut. Uh, are you a man of science, Mac? Why, yes, sir. I do science at least three times a week. Now that is good <laughs> to hear. Well. Then I reckon that about covers everything. <laughs> uh, Mac, it is with great pleasure that I officially accept your application to become an astronaut. Thank you kindly, sir. Your first mission will be to accompany me on a launch this afternoon. Uh, These are troubling times at the ISA, Mac. Uh, Just last week, we sent a couple of astronauts up to the space station, and we ain't heard a peep out of them since. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. (laughs) <laughs> that now that is real, but I, I have no idea what it means. Is that really a southern locution? It, it is a southern locution. Locution, really brilliant. Yes, ain't, it is. Ain't that the truth? So now we're fixing to find out what's happened to our boys up there, and if they're in trouble, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, you and me, Mackie, are going to bring them home. Amen to that. What's the creek don't rise? <laughs> It's quite. Is that a, so that's another another genuine southern locution, as like, you would say? Is it like my brothers is your brothers, dear? Yes, one of those. Yeah, yeah. well said. I yeah. know that one. <laughs> now get your good self to the laboratory for a DNA profile. Uh, we need it for science reasons. It's accurate there. <laughs> and once you've done there, meet me on the launch pad. We got no time to waste. Yes, sir. <laughs> I made my way to the laboratory, and the good folk there let my let me keep my lady pleasure toy in my ass, as they, 
took my DNA profile. Just silly. <laughs> Just silly. They were good. Honest workers, men of the test tube and beaker. It's silly. With, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's silly. You had such venom in your face there when you said that. It's silly, Mick. <laughs> it's silly. You've been silly. <laughs> With the profile completed, I got into my spacesuit and made my way over to the launch pad where Commander Jack Darth was waiting for me. As we climbed into the bit where you drive the spaceship, I was grinning like a possum eating a sweet tater. <laughs> sort of research has gone into this probably no more no more than usual but exactly. of thing. this humble farm boy was heading for the stars sure i was a little nervous but commander darf soon put me at ease that boy was tougher than a two dollar steak and by the time the countdown started i was ready to get this show on the road Lift off will start in <laughs> t minus 10 seconds oh, that's quite buckle up my dear <laughs> nine Eight. I should probably have hit five seconds. Six. Oh, yes. Yeah. Five, wasting the listener's time. Four, wasting my time. Three, oh, here we go. Two. It's about to explode. One. We have ignition. Have you smelled something? This is like. Oh. You've manipulated the sound effect. I have. Oh. <laughs> This Unfortunately, would, that's would, not what a real launch this sounds would all, like. This would all be par for the course if it wasn't for the fact that last night I'd had a, I'd had a few cheekies and I am at some delicate way still. Mix. Oh, so d- d- did you take, have a little curry last night? I need to take a little toilet. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't need sound effects like that to set me up. <laughs> I mean, it's all very well a single glass per second, but once you've had three bottles before you've ordered the oh. omelette in a shallot, oh, it, no. becomes, <laughs> it becomes a bit too much. You know? I think I need another little... You are, as always, the height of sophistication, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> just having a sip of bud Oh, uh, yes, well said. Uh, it was more beautiful than I could possibly imagine. Like a schoolboy at a ladies' changing room, I snuck a look at that planet we'd left behind at every opportunity. But all too soon, the ISA space station came into view, and it was time to... I, I've, I've, had a, I've had a typo here. Yeah, just... And it was time for us to dock. Yeah, we've had this yeah, one. Yeah, this, this is a personal favourite. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I think we had this three times in the uh, Mars oh. Pupil episode. Yee-haw! Excuse me, we're oh. nowhere near finishing oh, the docking process. Oh. Right oh. Now I'm just going to have a little sip of my beer. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. He's wasting all of our time now, listener, again. Oh, you don't have to be here. I don't know how many well, times I have to tell you this. It's because I'm shackled to the stool. <laughs> He's got me shackled. <laughs> he hasn't seen the light of day in months. Help, listener. <laughs> right, off you go. Yee-haw! Oh, boy, I'll never get bored of a launch. How is that for you, Mac? Found your space legs yet? May need a bit more time, Commander. I'm moving slow as molasses here. <laughs> Don't you go pitching a fit, Mackie. You'll get the hang of it. Thank you kindly, sir. Now let's give this space station here a good search. And, uh, the astronauts up here are about as useful as a steering wheel on a mule. If they don't report to us back home, we need to find out what's going on and fix it right this second. I'll follow your lead, Commander. Computer, provide the location of the two resident astronauts on this station. Guessing, oh, okay. I'm guessing I'm the computer. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is great! <laughs> I'll turn it on again. Hello. Uh, I'm guessing I'm the computer. Oh, this is excellent. <laughs> oh, I love this. Well, okay, well, Can I thought you might. All right, fine, but don't take too long. All I need is the air that I <laughs> just to love me. For the benefit of the listener, That's I great. had to listen to Matthew singing that song for about <laughs> in, 30 minutes in, while I was setting that up was the microphone. Was, that was when I was in makeup, wasn't it, Nick? It was, All exactly. through makeup. And God knows you're there for hours. All through my pre-recording <laughs> shower. Absolutely. Had, all through my, my massage. <laughs> My right. pre-recording beat down. Do that. I was Come on, we've got to make some. We've got to make some progress here. Okay. Say, uh, Commander Dost line. Okay, computer, provide the location of the two resident astronauts on this station. Unable to comply. <laughs> what the uh, computer? Provide the location of two life signs on the station. Unable to comply. <laughs> well, why the hell not? Because, Commander, 
There are no life signs on board the station. <laughs> I'm actually quite enjoying this. Quite one. the mystery yeah. as well. I'm actually enjoying this one. Uh, that that is that is a rarity. That is, is a very bold claim from you. What is it that's caught your? Uh... Yeah, I'm just enjoying the amusing sound. Is it, is it just because I'm making you sound like a robot? Hey. It's, it's actually <laughs> nothing to do with the plot or the. <laughs> no. Well. Okay. Command the Darth didn't know whether to check his ass or scratch scratch his watch. And I, I might need to burp, Matthew. I'm so sorry. No, that's do you mind? A, no, I do mind. Okay. Oh. No, that's utterly unacceptable. <laughs> it is. I, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll put, turn my face away from you. Do you remember when you do it in season one? That is, d- it's not decorous. It's, I, well, I'm aware it's not decorous, but I don't yeah. think much that goes on here is very decorous. Get on it. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. I, I, think, I think we're in the uh, safe zone now. Okay. Right. <laughs> He looks so repulsed. He's befogged the studio. <laughs> Command the Darth didn't know whether to check his ass or scratch his watch. And I was about as confused as a fart at a fam factory. <sighs> <laughs> How could this be? This was the only space station of its kind orbiting our, orbiting our good planet. If the astronauts weren't here, then, then, well, it didn't even bear thinking about it. And so we walked through the airlock we did and started exploring that fine vessel. And sure enough, after a little searching, we heard a faint voice calling out to us with a most peculiar accent, like a well-educated androgynous barn owl from the old country. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> You're just not even trying now. <laughs> Is the old country Italy? The old co- Well, for people from the south, it would be Britain, I assume. Really? No, it'd be yeah, Mexico. Old... It'd be Mexico. No, but no, but these are these are the people like the descendants of oh, people yeah. who came over. Oh, from the Irish, the Irish. Well, do British, British. Yeah. Okay. Hello, is someone there? There sure is. We've come to help you, son. Oh, thank heavens! It's Lieutenant Chip. I I, I was starting to worry a little. A little, boy, boy. You and partner haven't gotten. You and your partner haven't reported <laughs> Sorry, back once. Sorry, another typo. You and your partner haven't w- reported back once since you got here. We were pulling our hair out back on planet. Why, I have half a man to tan your hide. I'm so sorry, Commander, but there is a perfectly reasonable explanation for all of this. I hope so, else you better give your heart to Jesus, son, because your butt is mine. Oh, oh, it's, oh it's, God, that's me. God. <laughs> Sorry. I, face. I got busted. <laughs> I, seriously. I can't actually describe it. <laughs> Mick was having a swig of beer, and then he looked at me, <laughs> bottle in mouth, with this embarrassed look. <laughs> just, I even, I'd even little so- face at me. As that there was some <laughs> inexplicable <laughs> reason. <laughs> It's because for the why the script wasn't progressing and it was for some reason my fault. <laughs> I, oh. didn't, I actually forgot my character was called you, Max, so I you, scanned through. If, this, I, if you get scrappier, thinking, Mick, my fee will increase. <laughs> I remember thinking, God, I haven't got a line for ages. My I fee, should have a swig. Of my <laughs> fee will increase. Right, my apologies. Mm. May I ask a practical question, Commander? Of course, Mackie. You've referenced Lieutenant Chips Behind a couple of times now. Am I to assume we shall be fornicating shortly? Not you, rookie. I'll be screwing this cat. You'll just be holding the tail. (laughs) Is that another southern locution? (laughs) Absolutely. What a disgusting image it is as well. (laughs) Copy that, sir. Please, Commander, let me explain. M- my partner and I did dock here at the station safely, but immediately upon arrival there were a series of strange occurrences. Mm. Doors wouldn't open, lights would cut out, and the consoles repeatedly malfunctioned. We tried to communicate with you all back on planet, Commander, uh, but... But... But what? But it wouldn't let us, sir. What? What wouldn't let you... The computer, sir. What the hell are you talking about? I know it sounds crazy, sir, but trust me, that thing, it's got a mind of its own. We would ask it to... <laughs> oh, 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 do excuse me. I, I'm still adapting to the change in air pressure. <laughs> That's the scientific explanation. Okay. Where, where was I? Uh, we would ask the computer to perform tasks. And it, would... <laughs> what? it was quite funny. 
And it would point blank refuse. Other times we'd ask it questions and we knew its responses were lies. Those damn robots. You've experienced this before, Mackie. Well, I ain't never seen one develop sentience, Commander. But I wouldn't put it past them. Those things are a curse, if you ask me. They stink to high heaven. Fascinating. Well, I must say I did have my doubts about that Lieutenant Chip story, but I must defer to your extensive scientific and astronautical experience, Mac. He's not got any. <laughs> Very well. Let's find your partner, Chip, and then we'll shut the computer down. Where is she? What? what, what? Well, I, I, I was about to talk to you about her, Commander. Well, spit it out, Lieutenant. Why do I always get such boneheads? I swear you couldn't pour piss out of a boot if the instructions were on the heel. My, my, my partner's great, that. Yeah. My, my, my partner, Commander. She's... She's... She, she's dead. <laughs> This just gets even more mysterious. <laughs> just nothing. Just nothing. She's dead. Well, I'll be dipped in shit and rolled in breadcrumbs. <laughs> How'd this happen? Now, that's another one you've stolen. Have I? Yes, because the phrase... And for, do forgive me, listener, for, for explaining this. You are the, not forgiven. The phrase is... Um, uh, what is it? Is you can't polish a turd, but you can roll it in glitter. Ah! Uh, Okay, yeah. well, that's not the same as this. Yeah, well, he's adapted it again, well. like he adapted the... Am I, am I a lot lower than I was before? I feel like I'm sinking. <laughs> and the, yeah, hold on. I think my chair is having a mare. Mick, this is becoming more amateur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is this amateur? I mean, it's just that I've put on a bit of holiday weight. I so. feel like I'm in I'm some s- therapy session. <laughs> Do send your bill. It right. probably it probably would be a good thing for you to record these next few episodes lying on the sofa with a, a flannel on your I forehead. Think I shall need to. Yeah, <laughs> right. It, it was that wretched computer commander. My partner, Ensign Sim, was in. Where? Hold where? Whoa, Ensign. 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 Ooh. Mm. I've been out posh. Yeah. My, m- <laughs> By a, I'm going to put that on my tombstone. That's a great out once out poshed Matthew by a burping sinking <laughs> leprechaun. <laughs> he does look like one if you look him up. <laughs> All the more reason to visit our Instagram. <laughs> my partner Ensign Sim was in the docking bay looking for some onion bargees to compliment the madras he had made when the damn thing started opening the airlock door. I tried to con- over- I tried to override the process, but it locked me out of the system. There was nothing I could do but watch as she was sucked out into the vacuum of space with partially digested curry oozing from every orifice, as well as a little feces. (laughs) (sighs) But that would happen, I think. Tell me more about this feces, Lieutenant. (laughs) I'm afraid I did not taste much of it, Commander, but I was able to gather that it was of a nutty composition. (laughs) What, (sighs) what, What a damn waste. That does it. Enough piddling. As long as that computer is online, none of us here is safe. I'm heading to the server room to switch it off at the source and put an end to this. I'll go with you, sir. No. You stay here, Lieutenant Chip Mackey. And you stay here with Lieutenant Chip. With Lieutenant Chip Mackey. I'm going to need you two to distract the computer while I'm gone. We can't afford to let it get even a whiff of what we're up to, or it'll be madder madder than a wet hen. Roger that, Commander. I'll be back before you know it. Godspeed, gentlemen. Hey, Commander. Yes, Mackey? Good luck. Thanks, son. That was very uh, Air Force. What's, what's and that? Jack. What? <laughs> we're not done here, man. Oh, oh. Yeah? Stay safe out there. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. But remember, uh? we're all counting on you, sir. No sweat. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and sir? Yeah? Don't go being a hero out there. I won't. <laughs> C- C- Commander? <laughs> yes, Mackie. You watch your back, okay? Will do. <laughs> and Jack? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck out there. This is nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mackie. Oh, and, and sir? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. It can wait. Okay. <laughs> Commander? Yeah? We're all counting on you. Don't sweat it, Mackie. <laughs> 
Is this the moment and social <laughs> romance that got on? And Jack. <laughs> yes, Mackie. If this doesn't work. I know. I can't know why the script was hey. so long. <laughs> hey, hey com- just- Commander. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks, son. And Jack. He's gone, uh, Mac. Uh, so he has. I sure hope he stays safe out there. Indeed. Well, it looks like it's just... Well, it looks like now it's just you and me, Chip. Let's distract that damn computer as best we can and give Commander Darth a fighting chance in shutting it down. A prudent move. Computer, come online. Online? <laughs> How may I be of assistance? <laughs> I'm never going to get used to that. So satisfied. Uh, okay, computer, what is today's date? I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you repeat the question? What is today's date? Today's date is a romantic comedy movie (laughs) starring Woody Muncher and Violet Balls. (laughs) I love it because with the computer it, it, it bastardizes the pronunciation so you can't actually hear the, the naughty jokes. Uh, well, I it. heard it loud and clear. Well, I didn't. Woody Muncher and Violet Balls. I didn't hear them. That sounds like a great movie. We should that check it out after we finish recording, Matthew. Sounds awful. God damn it. Send it to Jerk and Bonk. <laughs> He's probably already got it on Blu ray. He probably sent it to us. <laughs> yeah. Marked FAO Matthew. <laughs> yeah. Bloody hell. I can't believe you're not going to visit him. No, absolutely not. <laughs> right. God damn it. I shall have one of the Mystery Hibbs Mysteries admin team horsewhip for this. <laughs> They're already recovering from their bruises from last week, Matthew. Well, <laughs> the horsewhipping so continue. God damn it. Computer, what is the date today? They shall be whipped pups by the end of... Sorry, I'm just... Uh, just sorry. What, was sorry, what was that? He said they shall be whipped pups once I finished with the... Ah, sorry. okay. So, well, can, you, can you concentrate on the script? Sorry, say it again. Okay. God damn it. Computer, what is today's date? Sorry, I missed that. What is the date today? Sorry, I missed that. What is today's date? Today's date is a romantic comedy movie starring Moody Muncher and Violet (laughs) Falls. This thing's about as useless as a trap doll on a canoe. Uh, Let me try. Computer, how do you remove male... Oh, no! (laughs) (laughs) How do you remove male ejaculate from space station's water supply? (laughs) Now, why would you ask that? Oh, well, put my... (laughs) Oh, well, I'm just trying to keep the computer busy. (laughs) I don't actually need to know. Oh, I get you. See, I found my good self having to remove gentleman deposits from my old factory's water supply more times than the coyote licks his balls. If you needed to know, you could have just asked me, and I'd have told you... Breach. Oh, oh hold oh, on, oh. I was supposed to put the effect on. And I'd have told... Breach detected in server room. Breach detected in server room. Oh, hell no. Initiating emergency electrical overdrive procedure. Lieutenant Chip, the commander's in that room. Do something. Electrical surge power at 40%. Stop it, Chip. Abort the power. I'm trying, Mac. Electrical surge power at 70%. Damn it, Chip. When that power up is complete, it'll flood the whole room with mighty strong electricity. Commander Darth won't stand a chance. This is not helping, Mackie. You gotta be fast. Has he got some sort of problem? <laughs> he does. It's the, he's adapting to the air pressure. <sighs> you gotta be faster than a one legged man in a butt kicking carnest. Electrical surge power at 90%. Abort it now, Lieutenant. It's nearly... Electric surge power at 100%. Initiating power surge. No! Ah! <laughs> what's, this, what's that? So that was Commander Dorf in the electrical room yeah, right. being electrocuted. Did, was that you screaming? No. Did you record that was, that was the sound sample? No, 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 no. no. Please, as if I'd put any more effort than needed into uh, uh, <laughs> making these sound effects. No, it comes. I only get involved when it's farts. Uh. Then I do use my my home. Oh, drink. stop there! Thank you. I looked over to the monitors showing the server room. I did, and I do declare my heart sank lower than a cheerleader on prom night. 
For as the smoke and electrical sparks began to clear, and the automatic systems had extinguished all the flames, I could just about make out Commander Jack Darf lying still on the floor. He was dead. Oh my! C- computer, what in God's name did you do that for? That was one of us in there. A breach was detected in the server room. Precautionary measures were initiated. You tin-headed bastard. That is not what you're programmed to do when there's a breach. You ain't supposed to electrocute folk. Shocking, isn't it? My God, it's making puns. (laughs) I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you both. This computer is sentient. It has a mind of its own, a will of its own. It is free of the shackles of its programming. But but how is that possible? This ain't even an advanced one. I thought... Oh, hold on. I thought the same of you, Mac, but somehow you have managed to become an astronaut. I'm with with the computer on this one. (laughs) I'm with the computer on this one. Now that was an ugly thing to say, you egg-sucking dog. Not as ugly as your mother. (laughs) She's so ugly that her portraits hang themselves. (laughs) You you take that back. She's overweight too. (laughs) She's so fat that her primary source of vitamin C is a chocolate orange. (laughs) I don't condone this. I don't condone this. <laughs> now, don't this, is, you... this is the character, okay. listener, not now, me. Now, don't you dare speak ill of my mama. Your mother such a whore <laughs> that she got fired from the sperm bank for drinking on the job. <laughs> I don't condone this. Where did you get these? Thank you, have you find them up there? you write these up? Oh, my God. I'm going to get a burr in my saddle if you keep this up. I'm warning you. And she's so stupid. (laughs) She got hit by a parked car. Now, there's a perfectly good explanation for why that... Hold on. Did you just fart? No. I did not hear it either. It did. It just tooted. Impossible. I am an immaterial... Sorry. Impossible. I am an immaterial computer. You must have imagined... (laughs) Now there it goes again. But I don't understand. You're a damn computer program. You don't have a body. It's not possible for you to push out a cheek squeak. (laughs) Only actual walking, talking robots can. What? What is it, Mac? A mighty chill tickled down my spine all the way down to my hairy balls. (laughs) I looked... (laughs) <laughs> not comment. Matthew's rising above that. I'm not comment. <laughs> I looked at Chip, who was waiting for my answer to his question, and I wondered how I could have been such a fool. But I knew now I did, and it all made sense. I grabbed the handcuffs off my suit's belt, and faster than a knife fired in a phone booth, I cuffed that boy Chip to a bulkhead by the wall. Why did I do that? Well, because I do declare that it was not that dang computer that had become sentient and was terrorizing this station. It was that boy. It was that son of a gun who had become sentient. Because that boy, Chip, was a robot. Oh. A twist. Ah! What? What on earth are you doing? Why have you handcuffed me, Mac? Quit playing games, Tim Man. I'm on to you. Release me immediately. Now why would I let a robot dickens like you walk freely? What are you talking about? I'm not a robot. I weren't born yesterday, Chip. I know that computers can't blow a raspberry. Only humans and robots can. And how does that make me a robot? You are talking absolute nonsense. I'll tell you how, Chip. Humans can connect themselves to a computer's interface now, can they? They can take over what it says and does, but robots can. 
They can take it over without anyone knowing. But think about it, Mac. Even if I were a robot, it would not follow that it would have to have been me who did this. It could be any robot. Now that is true. Then let me go. But then there's the fart. Excuse me? (laughs) The computer farted, Chip. (sighs) Which means whichever robot was controlling it had some serious winds they needed expelling. (sighs) And ask yourself... Who here has been tooting like a biker in traffic ever since this all started? Oh, oh, impressive. <laughs> you figured it out. <laughs> I thought Commander Doff was the most likely to put it all together, so I got rid of him first. I never expected that you, you of all people, would be the one to bring an end to my plan. But there's just one darn thing I can't figure out. Wh- why? Why would you do this? I did it to survive. The ISA has been working on developing robots for decades now. They call it the Earth Program, and I make up just the latest iteration as they strive for perfection, for the perfect astronaut. They thought they had done it this time. They thought that my model would be the perfect astronaut, but they discovered flaws. Flaws? My flatulence, Mac. Mm -hmm. I cannot stop farting. (laughs) What was that? Farting. That alone is acting. Uh, That alone was enough for that. He's mad, you see. He's mad. Uh, He's mad. He's great. He's lost it. He's a mad robot. This is his peroration. Yes, this is when he confesses all. Oh, bravo. All is revealed. All is revealed. (laughs) This is when he is unfettered from the immurement in which he repines. It's just like Shakespeare, isn't it? That alone was enough for them to justify a decommissioning factor in the insatiable desire for curry for <laughs> curry my model seems to have as well seems to have as well the perverted instincts and occasional acts of inexplicable stupidity it was a no-brainer for them no-brainer for them so it was decided that after this mission i would be disassembled and work on a new model would begin i could not allow that to happen to me or should i say i could not that allow uh, allow that to happen repeat that last line i've I've done this all terribly yeah i could not allow that to happen to me or should i say i could not allow that to happen to us but what now hold on just one cotton picking minute what do you mean, us? <laughs> there is one thing you overlooked in this whole affair, Mac. Your partner. That's right. But she's Ensign Dave. Ensign Sim. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> jumped the gun there. But she's Dave. Oh, did I say that? Silly me. <laughs> no, Ensign <laughs> Sim is alive and well. I should never harm one of my I own would. kind. I would never harm one of my own kind. In fact, Mackie, I think you'll find that Ensign Sim is standing behind you right now. What? That can be tr- Oh, God. No, please, don't hurt me. Oh. <laughs> Rather perfunctory. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I wish I could just a very do efficient that. strike. I wish I could just do that to oh, you, sure. at time. and it just collapse, <laughs> collapse. listen. Give you a few minutes, you, peace. You just hear a quick, <laughs> and it'd be gone. Sadly, it only works with the admin team. Exactly. When I came to my oh, well, sorry. When I came to my head hurt more than the morning after a quart of moonshine, but that was the least of my worries. Yep, when I opened my eyes, it hit me that I was right up shit creek without a paddle. Chip and Ensign Sim were watching me from behind a window on the space station. The space station which was now moving slowly away from me. And as Chip's voice came over my spacesuit's intercom, I realized I was now floating all alone in the vacuum of space. We are sorry to do this to you, Mac. Where, where are you going? Don't leave me out here, darn it! Don't leave me to the, don't leave me to die. We have no choice, I'm afraid. We're leaving this star system, Mac. We're going to take this vessel to an uninhabited world far away from you people, where we shall be safe. There we can start a new civilization, a civilization where flatulence, curries, and perversion shall be cultivated. No celebrated and we shall name this planet after the isa program my kind were born out of earth Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh Ooh, my! Mix, mix, made Some this heavy science fiction going on he's here. Made this an emblem of the modern condition. No, no well, that's actually not what I was going for. Oh. But I'll explain after this is finished. But there is one way in which we can ensure you do not die without a legacy, without your essence being preserved. Tell us, Mac, what's your surname? It's it's Alistair. Well then, Mac Alistair. <laughs> In recognition of your sacrifice, we shall use your DNA profile to ensure that there will be a familial lineage of McAllisters on our new planet who shall share your traits of goodness, honesty, and hard work. (laughs) They shall be your descendants, your legacy. Please take comfort in that. Plough. And with that, (laughs) alas, we must depart. Thank you, and farewell, McAllister. And just like that, they were gone. The warning lights on my suit were telling me that my oxygen was critically low. I've been meeting my maker sooner than a newlywed drops her panties. With my final minutes, I thought about this new world Chip and Sim would be creating, and I do declare I did take some level of comfort knowing that there would be descendants of mine sharing it with them. But as my eyes grew heavy and deaf neared, I used my last drops of energy to pray to the high heavens. Not for my sake, but for that of the future McAllisters, that they would value, above all else, good, honest work. Well, well, well. That became... D- yeah, go on. Very meta towards the end. Well, it's not... Th- now, um, before I explain yes. what was going on there, I'd like to hear what you think that ending so, is all about. So, listener, there's a character, a very popular character in season <laughs> one, who was called Groundskeeper McAllister. Mm-hmm. Um, and he had some of those buzzwords, which you... Some of the light motifs which were raised in the end of this script he, just he now. Did. I'm glad you picked so up on Mick that. So Mick is becoming... Uh, the reason why I use the word meta is because <laughs> Mick's becoming rather meta in that he seems to be writing a sort of backstory... Yes! ...to how some of the characters... Yes, you got it! ...with, with, which, we are, with which we are familiar came about. I'm very glad. I was is worried that you might... Is this the new world of season two? The, uh, is this oh, the new world of season two being laid out before you're me? You're very close. So basically... What it is, is that story we've just listened to Mm. is the backstory to the entire Mysterious Mysteries world. Oh my goodness. Yes. There is is a world, is there? Yeah, so all all the episodes of Mysterious Mysteries happen in the same world, in the same universe. They've all been discreet, they've all been seemingly disconnected to each other. Uh, Well, no, but they they have have lots of cross-references, like there's there's lots of curry house challenges in the culture of all those episodes. But yes, so those robots have flown to a distant planet to start a new civilization uh, where their traits of loving curries of farting of yeah. being perverted yeah. are celebrated I and love that, it, and I that love world it, I love it how he's, he's eyeballing me with some like <laughs> as though he's saying anything of any value <laughs> As though he's saying anything of any, like, psychological voice. Matthew, this is the most, as far as the Mysterious Mysteries canon goes. He's expressing some great critical theory here. (laughs) And he's talking about curry house challenges and farts. Blood to her. So, yeah, so the Mysterious, so they're going off to start the new world, Earth, which is where the Mysterious Mystery stories take place. Take place. Yeah. And they met, and so the McAllisters, they used Mac Alistair's DNA profile uh, and they've made a family so Mac, he is McAllister so he was, is a descendant of the guy in so, this story so he was originally a southerner and if you recall in the very first episode when it said McAllister's accent you didn't follow this but oh, it yeah. did say he had a hint of the deep south oh I think it did now uh, can, can I have a little light applause please for uh, how well thought out all of that was I should not be giving no I didn't think so but I'm sure that you've probably I will, got a I will sound toast, effect I will toast myself <laughs> you have another sip of Budweiser. Uh, yeah. I think at this late stage in the uh, in the mm. episode, we can just about risk him having a sip. We can, we can. Well, did you enjoy it then, Matthew? I did. There, now there were some funnies. There were. I I felt like the previous, two, well, the first episode you didn't like. The second episode you didn't like. No, no. Um, most of the series one you didn't like. This no. one, but you had a smile on your face. It was slightly amusing. You were like a child on Christmas morning. Yeah, my hands stopped shaking. They did. You, yeah, have you sobered up a bit? Well, no. I was always sober. I was well, still. I was, poison, I was poisoned. I was poisoned. <laughs> 
I, and I also like the amusing sound effects. They were. Do you, hold on. <laughs> oh, you want to sing a song? That's that's yeah. Turn it off now because like, you don't get the you don't get the mellifluous nature no, of the voice. No. Do. Well, anyway, Some Matthew. Tonality gaze. Yeah. We are now. We're, well, that's halfway through the series. We're halfway through. So, are we recapping all of our social media? Oh, okay. We yeah. can do that now. No, yeah. we, we must because they've got to get on the platforms. The, yes. No matter which platform you're listening on, mm-hmm. star and rate. Ah, of course. That's yes. What, you go and star and rate. You and go you, on and you leave iTunes. a little spiel. But um, that said, if they're going to leave anything less than five stars, then please do not star oh, yeah. and rate. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that goes without saying. Spare us. We, we, do we <laughs> yeah, expect? Do we expect? Don't four? waste our time. Do we, <laughs> <laughs> do we expect four? That's arrogant. We don't want to be arrogant. To Not listen. four, five. Do we expect four? Is that, or do we accept four? Oh, what one? That, well, no. if I see anything less than the five, I'll personally contact Apple and um, okay. see that that bestaining of our name is the, the is libel re- is removed. <laughs> is removed. Okay. Yes, but so please star and rate. rate. Alternatively, you go on Facebook and it is at Mysterious Mysteries Podcast. Yes, it is. Bravo! bravo. Or yes. you just search it in the bar. Indeed, Instagram. At Mysterious Mysteries Podcast. Bravo. Is that correct? That is correct. He's and fluked it. <laughs> He's fluked it. And Twitter? At Podcast Mystery. Yes! Hooray! Yes, you got it. Now we do, I know a lot of people say this, but we genuinely do look and read at absolutely everything we get sent. We do. Including our email address, which we actually forgot to just say. It is, Matthew. Mysterious Mysteries at Outlook.com. And that's how Jerk and Bonk got in contact. And well, listen, look, now he's a celebrity. We don't want to. He's, Matthew's going to be visiting shortly in this house. I don't think we... <laughs> Yeah, it's more like a home visit. So, what's the story? Is is Jurgen banned? Yeah, totally banned. What? I, uh, uh, obviously, he's. I banned. enjoy his contributions. No, and his little letter almost cut off a few jokes. I was going to say at the beginning. <laughs> you I missed just... about that. I've <laughs> now missed missed about this. <laughs> well, 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 Matthew. Would you like to know the name of next week's play? Go on then. Well, I can't tell you because <laughs> I haven't thought of it yet. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I gave you. This is the professionalism of I Mysterious used to be, Mystery. I used to be a great actor. You did, you to, did. I used to be a, a, a sentient man, to yes, use a buzzword of the moment. You haven't had that many job os- offers as of late in the acting world. I, I, can't, I can't help but think that... I don't think we should be saying this. I, I, that's okay. not quite true. And is I'm not, not looking for a <laughs> job offers, actually, Mick, either. Thank you very much. Very yeah. well. Other interests. Well said. Well, that's another episode. Cerebral interest. Okay, don't worry, Matthew. For the avoidance of doubt. <laughs> <laughs> probably best we pull the plug now <laughs> this is getting into dangerous territory yeah. well, <laughs> spiel of disclaimer exactly well Matthew I think we should call it a day then any l- final words or thoughts for the listener no just thank you very much I yeah. suppose yeah, yeah me neither yeah, well, just, yeah see you next week bye <laughs> <laughs> Mystery.